Hi, my name is Shauna Natney from Reimagine Your Normal. Today we are going to continue our talk about why exercise. Today we're going to talk about why flexibility is important. Imagine getting out of bed in the morning with stiff arms, stiff legs. Um, so you're laying down and you have stiff arms and stiff legs and you're trying to get up out of bed without bending them. How hard would that be? Um, that is a lack of flexibility. So I know it's an extreme example, but like just being able to like move your arms easily is a flexibility thing. Um, being able to bend over to pick something up from the ground easily is a flexibility thing. Um, getting down on the ground to sit down with um, your kids or your grandkids and then getting back up easily, that's a flexibility thing. Um, we all want increased flexibility. The definition of flexibility is the quality of bending easily without breaking. What that means is think about uh, when you're, okay, so this is really important for working out. So let's say you're um, working out, you're doing a jumping jack or something, or you're lifting weights, and you can only go so far, and then you, you overextend your muscle, and then like you pull a muscle or it's really sore. That's because you're not flexible enough. If you work on your flexibility, it's less likely that you're going to overextend that muscle, and that's uh, getting hurt. So flexibility is important for that. So how do you get flexible? How do you make your limbs be more flexible? For me, like growing up and before I started working out, I was not a flexible person. Uh, my flexibility has come through my workouts. So there, the two main ways to, to increase flexibility is <clears throat> before you work out to, uh, before you do any kind of workout or any kind of like outside yard work or whatever um, to do some, some stretches, but don't do the static stretches. Like don't go like this and like hold it. Um, you can actually kind of pull it. You uh, pull the muscle when it's pulled like that. You actually want to be like doing like this kind of thing where it's, it's dynamic. You're constantly moving and just kind of stretching the muscle out. Um, when you get done with the workout or you, when you get done with doing the yard work, that's when you do the static ones where you know you pick up your arm and and you stretch it out and you hold it for I don't know like a count of five or eight or whatever and that's when you do that kind of stretching and that's when the the muscles start to elongate and get more flexible is is during that warm time another tip for getting flexible is when you're doing the workout especially if you're doing like an at-home workout or a workout in the gym with weights is to do the full range of full range of motion so when you're doing like if you're lifting a weight, lift it up, but lift it all the way up. Don't just kind of go to here, like lift it all the way so you're fully extending that muscle and that will help with flexibility too. It will also help with the, the growing of the muscle so you don't end up with like those uh, bodybuilders that like have to kind of walk like this because their their muscles, like they are not flexible at all. <laughs> They're, they didn't fully extend their muscle to, uh, to make it flexible. Another one is hydration, which is something that you don't think about when you think about flexibility, but when you drink a lot of water, when you have enough, when you're, when you're properly hydrated, the, the water works as kind of like a buffer, especially on your joints. So like if you're having knee pain when you're doing squats or something, make sure you're properly hydrated. That can help the buffer with the joints, which will also help with uh, flexibility, which means you can actually fully extend where you need to. Um, don't overextend. <laughs> But it can, it can help with that. Water is just, water is an amazing thing for your body. Um, and you'll find that the more you work out, the more that you actually crave the water and the more that you are fully hydrated, like pretty much all the time. Um, like for me, I didn't understand how dehydrated I had been pretty much my whole life until I started working out and my body really started craving the water and I started drinking a lot more water. The last tip that I have is to relax. So, <sighs> visually, visibly relaxing now so when you're tense and you're stressed and especially if you sit at a desk all day and you're all hunched up like this and you're 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 typing away like your muscles these muscles get really sore I know I used to get a lot of tension headaches um so if you like visibly relax or roll your shoulders back and just kind of I don't know sit and take a, a couple moments to have some thoughts to yourself that will help with your flexibility because you're you're letting these muscles relax 
and, and kind of pull down and you're not like always up in this tense position all the time. So there are a bunch of benefits for flexibility and I've already mentioned most of them. Uh, you can have less back pain uh, from muscles not being as tight, which can cause a lot of like tension and stuff back there. Also, as you are working out and you are working up your core, that will help with your back pain um, because your back isn't having to hold the weight of the front of you, which is what causes a lot of back pain for people. Um, so it's the working out and the flexibility that help with that. Increased range of motion is another benefit, which we talked about fully extending um, your workout, which goes into injury prevention as well. Improved circulation is one that I hadn't thought about, but if you are, are constantly like moving your muscles and you're fully extending and you're stretching and you're letting, you know, when you're stretching like this, you're like letting the, the oxygen go through the muscle and, and you're getting blood pumping through everywhere and it just, it helps the circulation. So it's like, you always have cold hands that can help with that. I know like my hands don't get as cold as they used to because um, the blood is flowing through there really good. And probably the, the, one of the best benefits of increased flexibility is less stress. So I know as I've gotten more flexible, like I'm not always up here. I feel when I'm up here and I try to like actually like Oh, relax that muscle or before like I didn't I never really felt the relaxation I never felt like the stretching of the muscles and stuff I never felt the tightness because I didn't understand what the tightness was uh, you start feeling that more when you stretch a lot uh, so that's the benefit so that is it for flexibility um, another great reason on why to exercise in the next video we're going to talk about mental health how exercise helps with your mental health, which we all want improved mental health, or at least I would hope we do. So if you are enjoying these videos and would like to see more, please subscribe, feel free to like or comment, and until next time, thank you.